This whole show, we've been talking about the dangers of DIY cosmetic procedures, particularly these injectables that are out there. Hopefully everyone watching now knows that it is not safe to do these things DIY, complications galore. Can we briefly just talk about things that are safe for people to do? A couple things you can do at home that are super safe, that are still very good pharmaceutical grade things to do are chemical peels, for example, that are vetted for safety and self-neutralization. We even get topical applications of hyaluronic acid, which is what's in the filler, that we know to be sterile, that we know to be absorbed and help plump your skin. There are vetted online retailers that are beauty sites that also have a storefront presence. I think those are always the best way to go. And we'll put a list of those on our we website. We can put them on, and, and there are a number of them. So you're not limited to this one place that's going to gouge you. And I get that if you're saying there's no one trained or skilled near me, or it's thousands of dollars and I'm never going to do this, there are still many things you can do that will not take your own health and your own life and your livelihood at risk. So please, please do not inject yourself. Please don't think that just because something looks easy online that it's viable or safe for you to do. Please do not go on these DIY channels and think it looks easy. We're here in the interest of public health. We don't care as much about the likes of social media. We care about your health. That's why we're doing this. Please, please understand our motivation. And I would just add that Piercing your skin with a needle is one of the easiest things you'll ever do. But taking care of the complications is anything but easy. Leslie, another wonderful investigation. Thank Thanks for Thank sharing you. that with us. We're going to have more information on our website, thedoctorstv.com.